And we've got about 50 minutes, so I'm, I'm, I apologize to everybody here if I go a little bit quick. I'll try and uh, answer your, your questions as we go, but uh, we'll see if we can uh, get through everything. So the, uh, there's a tutorial that's online on Team Center Community that shows how to do some basic surface modeling. It's under Lab 8. Um, I'm basically just going to walk through that with you and then um, I've got a car from when I took this class last year that I can show you a model of um, that will kind of give you guys some hints on to, on to how to do some different surface modeling techniques. So I'm pulling up NX right now and then we'll just go ahead and, and uh, hop into Shape Studio, uh, get some layers set up and then uh, we'll start doing some sketches and some sheet modeling. All right, so we're going to create a new part. I'm going to do mine in, in metric. Okay, so we go to start and we go to Shape Studio. And that will give us uh, all of the shape uh, functions that we need to do uh, surface modeling with. And uh, we'll go ahead and set up our layers. So we're going to create um, layer 62 and uh, we'll go ahead and create a plane at the bottom of our vehicle to kind of show where we want to start. So we'll turn that to 62. We'll create a new plane here. Let's see here. I don't have all of my menus all back here. Let's do it. I have all my buttons. Let's see, where's planes? Let's see, where's my menu? There we go. Perfect. Okay, there we go. So create a new plane. That will be defined as the bottom of our car. So then uh, that should be on layer 62, and then we'll go ahead and choose layer 21 to start doing our modeling on. So I'll switch over to 21. And we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first sketch we want to do is we want to do kind of the profile of our vehicle. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and do a sketch on the XZ plane to kind of uh, go ahead and do our silhouette. So if we start a sketch, select our plane, Then we can go ahead and kind of set up uh, set up our our, our uh, profile. I find that splines are the best way to do this, um, just because they give you a lot more control. So you want to kind of set up a, a general uh, sketch here, showing the uh, where the top of the hood of your car will be, something like that. And I'm going to turn off. Let's see, hang on, sorry. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. Turn off auto dimensioning. Okay. So there's our first one. We'll go ahead and do another spline here. Do a little bit further into the car. This will kind of define the sh where the shoulder of our vehicle is. Looks pretty good. Okay. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we can use some arcs to define where the top of our vehicle will be, kind of where the, the, the bubble is. Now, we'll go ahead and use a spline. That's probably a lot easier, too. Okay. Do another spline here. That's on the next uh, level there, where the, uh, sh the other shoulder is. Okay, and uh, then we can, man, this thing's getting pretty bad here. Let me go ahead and uh, we'll finish the sketch, and I should be able to save as. Give it a minute here to save. I'm going to hop out of my part real quick because that auto dimensioning is driving me crazy.
Okay, so if I come back in here, I should be able to get rid of almost all of my constraints. Because that's just really hard to see what's going on. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that and start over just because I don't want to have all those auto constraints. Yeah, I could have. Oh, geez. Okay, it's off. Okay. Now we'll just do show hide. Turn off all of our constraints. Where? Oh, right here? Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and set up this up again real quick here. Something like that. It's a little bit easier to see now. Okay. To the next shoulder. Now this is really, really uh, quick here. So, I mean, you can, you guys can go in and, and grab your control points and uh, change it as needed to make it a little bit smoother. But uh, anyway, so you'll create that. You'll create a third shoulder um, using uh, another sketch, which, well, no, you can do it on the same sketch. So go ahead and do another, uh, a third uh, little sketch here showing a third uh, profile. Okay, and then we can connect that with a line We'll do a little bit of a constraint to make sure that this is uh, a little bit straighter there. Okay. And then you can define some arcs for your wheels. Let's see. Lost it. Try, there we go. This will be a little bit easier, there we go. There we go. And uh, then we'll want to define where our, uh, where the rims of our wheel are, is going to be, so something like that. A little bit bigger. It's a little bit sloppy, but it uh, shouldn't uh, affect our vehicle too much. There we go. That looks, looks a little bit better. Okay, so once we've got all those defined, we can go ahead and... That's not what I intended to do. We can go ahead and create a, uh, a side profile. Give that a little bit smaller, maybe 100. I'll just leave it, it's fine. Okay, so once we've got that, we go ahead and create a second sketch on another plane. Let's see, sketch, 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 sketch. Here we go. And we want to do this one on the YZ plane. So if we go ahead and select that, press OK. Scroll down here. There we go. We want to define kind of the curvature of the side of our vehicle. So you can do that with an arc, you can do it with a spline. Um, it doesn't need to be super complex, but uh, you could do something somewhere, oops, wrong arc, there we go. Do like a three point arc to define the side of your vehicle. Looks good. And then you'll do a third sketch on the XZ, or excuse me, the uh, the uh, XY plane here. And then this one will kind of define the, uh, the, the rail surface, if you will. So I'll do a, an arc for this one as well. And we'll, uh, we'll have it make it, we'll make it, let's see here. Here we go. We'll have it start at the same spot as this. And we'll have it go up to about the top of our vehicle. 